welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek. And today we are going to talk about these images that came out through this new teaser trailer for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, we got a full trailer that's going to be dropping tomorrow. I'm recording this on Wednesday night. And it looks like on Thursday we're going to get a trailer for this movie. So I'll definitely get a trailer reaction up to you. But I wanted to just talk about this quick teaser we got and these three images they showed us in, the, in this teaser. Which is the first one, it's like someone kind of closing a set of blinds, it looks like. Uh, you know, so I don't know who this character is or who the person is playing. I kind of try to go through the IMDb and see if I can link, you know, a person to this. And I couldn't really make a match. So I don't really know who this character is. It could be a young Oswald E. Spencer. It could just be a random, you know, person that lives in Raccoon City, you know, closing their blinds. Um, could be a number of things. So, uh, but that was just, you know, I think just an ominous look of someone just, you know, closing their blinds to ignore whatever is happening outside, I'm guessing. And, uh, or, you know, or maybe they're just going to bed. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's not that exciting of a shot, but it still is like, oh, I wonder what's happening in this scene um, and who this person is. But then the second image we got was actually of the zombie dog, uh, which is cool, the Cerberus. And uh, this thing, it looks pretty neat. I mean, it's CG, and I don't know if it's completely CG or if it's like, you know, there's a dog there and they just added some makeup like they did in the previous movies and then just added CG on top of that. Um, I don't know. I'm sure it's tricky working with animals, especially dogs. Uh, I know it was tricky for the Resident Evil movies, uh, the the first uh, the first one especially, because they didn't know really what to do, and they wanted to put this makeup on the dogs, but they didn't want the dogs to eat it or it be you know you know make them sick or you know or anything like that or or be toxic in any way. So I'm sure you run into major problems when you're like, okay, we want Cerberus zombie dogs in this movie because it's a staple of Resident Evil, but we also don't want to hurt an animal so so what do you do because it's obviously more expensive to do full cg than it would be to um you know to have an animal there put a few prosthetics on it and then enhance things in 3d or you know with the uh, cg and stuff not 3d um but that would be you know so i'm wondering like is this got a, uh, is there a foundation of a real dog here in this shot or is it fully cg and uh how much of the dogs will we see in this movie because i know that dogs are kind of like zombies they're less staple to resident evil but we've seen them in all the other movies with Mila Jovovich. And if we get them in this movie, hopefully it's just this one scene. And not the thing I don't want the dogs in the movie. But I just, we've seen it a plenty of times. I kind of want to see new monsters. And uh, and that brings us to our third image, uh, which is Lisa Trevor here, which is a new monster for the movies. So I'm very excited to see how they bring her to life. And she's kind of doing this like, you know, shh thing. Um, showing that she's cognizant in some way. She, you know, she, there's still a person in there. So I don't know if this is her when she's younger and she's being experimented on at the Arclay facilities um, or if this is her in the movie and even in present day, you know, or present day I say, but it's like 1998 when the movies take place. Um, I, I don't know if it's her in 1998, you know, actually communicating with people. That would be interesting and different from, you know, what she's like in the game. Because in the game she mumbles things like, mom, you know, like stuff like that. But she doesn't like, you know, she's not pulling her finger up and being like, shh, quiet, you know, or whatever. Um, so anyway, I just thought it was a creepy looking image of seeing her do that. And I wanted to share it because you also see kind of the, the other face, you know, hanging off the side of her. And you see her eye poking through. So I just, I don't know, it looked kind of creepy and neat. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you all watching. I appreciate the, the support and uh, and people going like, hey dude, when are you gonna make another video? And, he, and it's like, I know I, I don't do a lot on this channel. I think eventually this channel is gonna get archived and I'm gonna just move fully over to my main channel. Um, but, uh, but I do like still putting stuff up here from time to time. And especially when it comes around this movie, cause I've been having some interesting conversation with people and I, I I'm learning a lot, I think about, uh, you know, the section of fandoms for Resident Evil, because I've always been a part of this fandom, but I don't think I've ever explored outside of my close friends um, and a couple YouTubers, uh, you know, and what they think of the franchise and what's important to them. And so that's why I like doing this show, because it helps introduce me to other people who like certain aspects of Resident Evil that maybe I don't pay that much attention to because I mainly focus on story. So, uh, so you know, if you're one of those people and you, you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever it is, let me know down below. And again, I'll put links down below to my Instagram if you want to check out uh, my new Instagram account, uh, the, the Highway to Hell. And I'll be posting video game clips up there of uh, Midnight Suns, the new Marvel game, and also uh, Halo Infinite because I did some of the beta testing for it. So you'll see some videos go up on that Instagram account. And then also I'll put links down below to the two Parasite podcasts so you can see me talk talking to Angel Rose and Goldheart about Resident Evil. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on those um, over in those comment sections as well. So thank you so much for watching the show. We got the trailer coming, so I'll have that video up for you ASAP. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.